everyone and welcome to the Blaze Blue Crosstag Battle EDU Open number 11. I am the host Foxfire and I am alone today but uh, I'm clear it will be fine and this is going to be great. Not going to be any form of train wrecks because I have no help. <laughs> now everyone's busy. Everyone's busy so not able to help me. But anyway, let's get straight to this tournament because this is our very first one post-patch. Which is... Uh, been looking forward to this hosting this one. We have 15 entrants today. Uh, that's the old bracket. I never updated that. Oops. I can't be bothered with the bracket today. Fuck that. I am very well organized. Don't you know? I am the most organized. All right. Let's jump right in. Our first match of the day. Let's have... Let's get... Dini Crippler versus Neko Silviu on stream. Alright, round one may start. This is what happens when you have to do things solo, you forget things. Say on auto pass, there we go, game. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Is that gonna be the sixth reveal here? Um, perhaps. I, I I can't say. I can't tell you what uh, secrets I've learned from Mori. I have spoke to him. I have met him. He has let me into everything, but I can't tell you. I'm under thirty NDAs. Okay, I, 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 uh, my NDAs do let me say one thing, Ponta, and that's no, it, it will never be a dark sheet. All right, here we go. Both players are here. Let's jump right in whenever both players are ready. Tiny with a classic thing. Huckerman, we know him well for, and Neko playing Blood Edge Boys. Let's get right into this. This is going to be an explosive start, I bet. If I know Diny, I haven't seen him in a little while. But I have been on the receiving end of it quite a bit, and well, yeah. Okay, let's see. What? Can't escape from crossing fate. Let's see how this starts. Immediate, just air backdash projectile getting the she boosts out to DP and make it safe. And right now, that. Dainey's just getting his game started already. 7k, assist comes out, axe a switch. Right, burst gets in, but manages, no punish on it. Okay, getting some of that pressure going, but gets caught out. Alright. Short combo gets bursted on immediately. He had no assist to pull there. Managing to just. 
punch his way out. Very little confirm wise though, but strain it with DP. Enhance DP to escape though, but it doesn't hit anything! He hit a button, then got burning golded for it. Rose Blaze goes straight through, goes straight for the throw, but Dainé's ready for it, takes it. And with this cross combo, that's it! That should be it. Game one goes to Dainé. Yeah, it is a mixture of everyone being busy and also the fact that Fumford was going to co commentate with me, but then suddenly there's been a really loud storm around him and he didn't want to commentate while that's going on. Even though. Yeah, that's his decision. And I've got I've had people offering to join me, but they're all playing anyway. So I'd I'd rather just have people focus on playing at this point. Okay. Can't escape I switch to a Jubei. Right. Right. Bit more of an aggressive start this time. Go on, Hades. Sean Let's go. Just, just seems to drop it in the air. Let's go. Yeah, let's just run up DP though from Dainey. All right, getting a nice conversion here. Ending. With the 2 1 4 knockdown. Come on, through active switch. Right, getting some pressure going, trying to use the uh, dash to get around, but Dainy doesn't care. He'll just hit you right out of it. Nice, keep keeping that pressure going with the IAD. I was really trying to get out, managing to form 3, but he's just not really getting any conversions. Getting like stray hits and then either just not converting off of them or not really going anywhere with the combos. Also, he's just not really calling assists. I have. Has he done any assists? I don't think I've seen any. Over that 2 0 to Dine. I almost set his score back to zero, that would be bad. Get ready. 10k? That's nothing in the current patch, I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> Especially for Dainey's team. Can't escape from crossing fate. Nice hit. Going for the third. Doesn't really get a convert off Gauntlet Hades. Seems to go just straight into JC. Could have probably gone for a more JA airstream. Gets caught up with the action switch. Bursts in Jubei. Good DP there. Trying to get some pressure going. Catches him with a straight low. Yeah. Tries to use that command dash to switch sides, but doesn't quite get punished for it. But this looks laggy. Oh, Dookie Kaze comes out, but it's too slow on it. It's a weird form 3 cross up. Could have called an assist there to burst, but he doesn't. Uh, that doesn't get the link. This has definitely, definitely got some weird delay to it. And the A order combo, but too far away to be punished, really. Especially with the jump back. So burst Jubei in. Gets caught out by an instant air dash. DPs, but still gets caught by Shipu. And Jubei just dies to it. We're going for blades, but push blocks right as he goes to super. I don't even know what he was doing. I'm I'm really concerned. But nice 3-0 there for Dainey. My hair, so let's have a look at that bracket. 
because I have a feeling everyone else is still playing. Oh boy. Now for the hardest part of any uh, any bit of commentary, especially it's when it's solo, filling in the time. It can be awkward enough as it is with just with two commentators, let alone having uh, just the one. But we also had Zero Raziel versus you, and that ended 3-0 to Raziel. And Pirate Technical has beat Zuya. I can't even. I'm sorry. I'm gonna not be able to pronounce that name. But that is a 3-0 to Pyrotechnical. They're advancing to round two. He will be facing off against Dini when round two gets streamed. But that match will probably not be on stream. I, I'm not the biggest fan of streaming people multiple times in a row. Outside of, like, top eight and that. Because, you know, at that point it's basically unavoidable. Because, you know, they're, they're streaming everything. Um... Kishi also beats Renoa 3-0. Okay. Oh, there, crap. Uh, that should do this. I'm on point with my production. <laughs> Chances are losers round one will be entirely off stream as well. I'm just waiting for a couple more results. One more match to have finished from and so we've got enough of them going and we can just get started with round two straight away to keep things going on that stream. So, um As I said, the patch came out, this is the first tournament for it. I don't know how much we're gonna see of the uh new characters, but uh, we've do we've seen an out already, but Neko's definitely not the most experienced player in the world. I've not been following the game quite as much, surprisingly, so I'm not sure on the consensus of these characters. I know Seth is considered really good, and so is Hart. And Naoto, in fact, from what I hear, they're all decent except for Teddy. I'm fine, Xenos, don't worry. I'm fine enough. Things are good-ish. Alright, uh, LaFunk has beat v Villacar 3-0. Which means one, well, I want to have three matches of round two before I'm comfortable with moving on. Alright. Mm, doesn't matter. Let's get let's get moving. We'll get round two started now. I, I know them I'll stream there's a match I can stream. Round two will now be starting. We can get Zero Raziel versus Kishi live on stream. I think some of the other matches are finishing, which is okay. Although. She says he needs a couple of minutes, but fine, that's cool. Give him the time he needs, we're in no hurry. Uh, in the meantime, Malo versus Ire, uh, whatever. I 
has ended 3-2. And Aira advances to fight off against Tumbleweed in round two. Malal drops down to losers round two due to the odd amount of entrance we've had. We've had 15. It always makes brackets weird. But, uh, yeah. Only so much they can do. Raziel says he is on the way. We'll wait on Kishi. But no, like, I, like I've been saying, I've not been following this game quite as much lately. Central Fiction Focus, in terms of actually playing games, has come back for me. How... Anyone in the chat? How have the... Uh, I mentioned it earlier, but how actually are the new characters holding up? Like, aside from the very basics I heard, like, Seth is stupid or whatever. Hard seems great, yeah. Very, really fun. I really enjoyed it, but uh, probably not the best for me. I thought she was at first, but then I was just like, I'm not that sold there. In the end, I was just like, nah, I'm not quite happy with this character. I felt the same about Naoto, but... Mm. The big thing I did like is that the, uh, is that at least, well, it's not a new character, my god, the, her EX moves are now actually worth a damn, which is called really nice. Felt like I could do way more with them. Okay, I'm assuming Teddy is as bad as people have said. Uh, it's the one I was on about Mai. As in Mai Natsume. Her EX moves are now actually really good. But I don't know. I ain't good at this game. I ain't that well knowledgeable. I just host, I just host events because it's fun. Hopefully, Kishi won't be that much longer. Oh, I, he didn't. He doesn't know the password. There it is. All right, let's get this started. Very little has changed here. Well, it isn't an EDU open without some sort of tech issues, I can tell you that much right now. Alright, there we go, careful start. We're both just backing off, respectful. Kishi going in. No punish on the 3C. There it is. Oh, clash with the 2B. Game is a bit low. Well, I'll see how I can do in a minute. But there's a nice combo co coming out there from Raziel. Getting a bit of carry back, but Kishi's definitely playing somewhat carefully. Oh, but good DP out of the uh, string there, though. Almost gets a convert off of the EX ball assist. There it is, a 4P managing to snipe. Dang out of the air. Getting in a nice short convert. And again, safe jump. Batista assist, keeping that pressure going. Isn't that new gun, gun blast cancelling to try to get a combo going? Oh, that's almost a happy birthday. So, <laughs> we're just going all over the place, though. Dang, it's just hitting everyone. 5C blocked. Respect, though. Magic switch out Ruby. Good, she's critically low. Needs some of that health regen. 
Catches that dang 2 8 over the EX, EX flash kick, the flash kick super. Not enough to kill. Raziel gets a nice convert here, getting some carry. Super Ender, probably not enough to kill. Definitely not. And no, no meter DHC. Oh, assist opens up the well there though. Rolls reverse, Kishi is now freshing up, but there it is, just two beats through. Oh, not enough to kill the assist before having to end. Right, Kishi playing very respectful right now. Oh, lands on the on the Raziel DP. Right, we're going into res place here. Oh, but that's it. What a DP call out. Raziel takes game number one. Game number Get ready. two. There we go. Turned the game up ever so slightly. That's about the best I'm going to be able to do. At least at a very short notice. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Right. Start with the assist comes out. Blue B, but still getting a convert off on Noel. Strange, just not to see to bring her down. Don't know if that was intentional. Okay, just run up DP. I did forget to call this round one. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Raziel on very low health right now, but managing to get some carry here. We're going to the corner. EX Bloom Trigger. Managing to catch Kishi as he's trying to maneuver his way around with the well as best he can. Act of switching to Fatisa, but he's getting punished for it. Five. Okay, all right. Burst, not punished by the assist, but that's it! Nang just punches her in the face! Going EX here, is this going to be enough to kill? Just enough, very nice. Okay, keeping it going. Raziel is going in hard here, spending meter. Not enough to keep going, only one bar. Kishi is really forced to defend it, but managing to get out. Quick block string, blocks the anti-air. Throw just straight into raw super. Enough to kill. Dang. It's just down in a well. Who has a health disadvantage, but does have res blades. And that is level four. If I know Raziel, he's gonna be looking for a, any chance to get an astral out of this. She's willing to just back off and run it out. Ooh, tries to DP. Oh, and that's it. Another DP there. Kishi holding on. One all. Game number three. Get ready. Ma Ma Whoa. Can't escape from crossing fate. Okay. So it is the exact same style there. Raziel is a big fan of this just Noel neutral jump while throwing out that dang assist. Right, defense, push blocks. Oh, we're getting, it's getting caught with these drives. Salt through, so they trade. Yeah, that's, that's catching the drill. Goes under the laser. With chain revolver there. Getting, once again, that typical short convert. Well, I'd say short, this combo's pretty long, but the damage is definitely not. 
manages to get over the 2B there. But failing the block as he exits Soul Throat. Now right now Rezio is just carrying him back and forth all over the stage. Dang getting that pressure going. He goes in the assist, but it gets it just gets clipped. Manages to get that DP out. He's still having to play that so slow and respectful. Raziel is perfectly willing to just use any form of button to just not take damage. Nice conversion there for that new Batista resist. There we go, DX, DX ball. Careful, movement hit, EX, EX Beam just gets hit by the Firecracker. There we go. Later, just for that knockdown, trying to trigger the... Just we're on cross combo, and Dang's hit by this! That's a happy birthday, Laser! Dang is down! Switching out to Ruby from this. Alright, got Raziel really on the back foot there, and gets hit by the EX Ball, but not enough to convert off of... Noel hanging on to that magic pixel, just only getting more because of that resonance regen. That's a bad DP, and Ruby is dead! Alright, the resonance place is over for Raziel. Kishi's still going, but he's not going to have enough meter to Astral, that's for sure. But does it matter? He's getting a convert now. Drill. Alright, doesn't seem to do anything with it, but Bates a DP! 2 0 now for Kishi. for it this time, just jabbing out the dang assist. Go, Kishi's... He's just standing there menacingly! Alright, there we go, good convert here. Last one on the phone, getting the EX ball. Well, getting through it, but catching Dang as she comes in again. Dang is already under half health, so I don't think she's been... She's only just been switched to the field for the first time. This is a happy birthday. Enough mana to EX it's both. Boom, spinning up 3 meter. About 7k to each. There it is, that wake up super. Forced to block, but no punish. Not well, able to punish. There it is. He's again, a very nice convert here. This won't be that much damage. Let's hope for Sarp to do this. Some of activation. They both get caught. That's a happy birthday. Does he have the damage to kill? Okay, no, because it's, it's the assist. Boom. Kishi cleanly taking that 3-1. Advancing to the top 8. Looks like they have. Alright. Uh, losers round 2 should not have begun yet. Oh, of course, I was late on starting round two. Just got to figure out one match now. Uh, we're waiting on a lot of ra losers round one to have finished again, but from what I can see, they are progressing. I'm just going to make the call to start. Loses round two.
We will be getting Pyrotechnical versus the winner of Pontan versus Velikar when those two are finished. Okay, Pyrotechnical is here, but uh, well, obviously his his, his op opponent's match hasn't finished yet, so we've got to wait for that to finish. But Labrus Nine, I see he's stuck with that. He was, I believe, he was playing this before free patch, was he? Oh wait, no, no, he was playing like Labrus New. But I do remember him having a nine before the buffs, and I hear she's great now. But I have uh, not really seen much yet of the character at all, really, in this game. Still, at this point, when I think of the character, I think of the Central Fiction version for very obvious reasons. That that in that game, she is pretty dumb. I do know the other matches have started. Renoa's match versus Vu started about six minutes ago. I am happy with how the numbers have turned out, though I will admit the worst, the most worrying part about being a TO, a netplay TO, is seeing. Keeping an eye on the bracket and seeing at most like five signups until last minute. Like, last minute signups are are in a way brilliant and annoying at the same time. Because like, all the last minute signups make the numbers bigger, and obviously bigger numbers, you end up more satisfied with the tournament, the hosting. But when so many people do it at last minute, they just they're just checking signups for the longest time, and you see nobody, and they just think, oh, this is not good. And then everyone joins the last minute. Just like, oh, for the love of God, where were they early? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't need the sudden surprise. Just, oh God, things are good. <laughs> uh, looks like, based on what's happening in Tony Chat right now, Pontan versus Vilakar has just finished with a three-two to Pontan. All right. Waiting on him to be here. I have played him since patch. He, if I remember right, is playing Carmine 9, and I don't like dealing with it. <laughs> but anything with Carmine is automatically a team I don't like dealing with. I don't like Carmine. At all. Alright, here we go. We are going to have a 9 mirror. By the looks of it. And we have Dancing Robot Girls. But alright. Let's get to it! Get ready. Get 
I do like seeing Labrus. Labrus is a really cool character. I hope she's considered better now. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. All right, so we have aggressive sorry now from Paratentacle, but sometimes managing to back off. Getting a little bit of damage in, some puddles set up. He is slowly kept getting these small confirms, but I worry he's doing as much damage to himself. But that is still a lot of recoverable health. So if he can get Carmine out of there, he should be recovering just fine. Raw Super, it's blocked though. DHC catching Pyro out and making Carmine at least switch out. Right, there we go. That teleport movement, catching him out. Go, though. Pyro, is, Pyro is getting some really nice but that's it, Carmine is down. Okay. Well, some careful movement. Underdice blocks it. Go, there'll be some chip, we're going into rest place. And it's not enough. That is a 1-0 to Pyro. And in the meantime, we have our winner, Saitop A decided with a 3 2 between La Funk and P Blade going to La Funk. Get ready. Contact is going in this time. Not really getting a big convert though that he wants. Nine assist catching him. Scarlet Vane. Careful move now though. Trying to get some of these. Points. But Pyrotechnical is just blocking everything. Axe is switching out to nine. The cross combo is. There it is. This is a nice looking convert. Pyro. A little bit of axe level. It's Dello. I mean, now we're already down to green. We were set up. There we go. Short combo here. Assist out, but gets bursted on. There we go. Short combo there. Force the block. Bursts in. Carmine. Gets an opening. Oh, drops it. Not enough to kill. And the super comes out. That's it. Carmine is down. Managing to still take out Labrus. There is a huge health disadvantage right now, though, on the side of Pontan. Amethyst. Right, there we go. Got to block the Amethyst. Teleports are into it, but Varovite set up. Pontan is hanging on. His health is. That health difference is completely closed off. There's still a Res Blaze coming out from Pyro. He's got a lot of recoverable health in comparison. So they're just throwing out. Just throwing out these Scarlet Veins here. Right, the radar. Good blocking. Content hanging on! And he manages to take it! That was a very nice comeback there. That nine of his is looking nice today. Get ready. We're in the game number three now. Also, hello there, Harukaze. Great to see you. Stay back. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Oh, goes for the low, but Pyro goes over it. Nice so, short permanent knockdown. Gets up to Deloax. Oh, but this is adding up. This damage is adding up. Red Axe, this is hurting! Oh, throw. Oh, dear god, she's dead. There we go. Just down to Carmine left, he's on half health. Only a level 
level one press place to go off on. Alright, but there we go, he's got to confirm. This is not quite a perfect. Oh, oh, he's hanging on. Go into the breastplate. He needs to get that health back as soon as he can. Super comes out. Oh, but don't punish just DP through it. But there it is. Pyro catches him with the low. Oh, he's 2 1 up. Alright, there we go. We're at match point right now for Pyrotechnical. Now, as we saw Get in that game ready. number two, don't count Pontan out right now. That won't be a very smart idea for you to do that. He will come back on the. Stay back. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Yeah, there is, just, just kick him! New is gonna double. Keeping that pressure going. Gets hit by the guillotine overhead. That's it, I've just grabbed ya. Puddle set up. Don't know how much he's gonna be able to do with the poke. Oh, Corvette oh, assist. Yay. I'm really worried about his car mine at the same Oh, and he gets opened up with a low. Oh, that was like catching out the teleport there. It's definitely not looking good for him. Going in the red place, organized setup, catch them, but not able to convert off of it. Oh, <laughs> just goes through Scarlet Bane. Oh, anti F4A. Nice convert. A little bit of damage. Rest place is over. Garovite comes out. Mirror teleports through. Ah! Gets caught by that massive JA. 3 1 to Pyro. How utterly disappointing. It seems you weren't a worthy foe after all. That Pyro advances into loser side round top eight. Loser side top eight fights off against Zero Raziel. Uh, because both of the matches are going as we speak, we can get started with that top eight. Everything is streamed from here on out. Alright, our first match of top eight to stream will be Tumbleweed versus La Funk. Weed is here now. Just waiting on LaFunk to get here. Alright, there we go. Ah, I see he's changed away from his Carmine to the other Blood Boy. Get ready. Get ready. And here we go. Yes, LaFunk has changed out his Carmine for a Nauto, so he's gone from what? Edgy Blood Boy to Anime Blood Boy. Anime Protagonist Blood Boy. Your destruction at my hand is merely a matter of time. 
But he's still got a Carmine color scheme, of course. <laughs> Rachel is just immediately getting hit by the by Tumbleweed. Okay, still respecting the pin that JB there. Alright, Rage Convert there, very nice. Just a little bit of damage. Got some cold set up, even more. Oh, there was a clash there. The fact that they made that goddamn Jesus kick a disjoint in this game. Carnage Scissors! Oh, okay with that. Jump in the J... A, I think it is in this game? I can't remember. I don't know how to win. Just make voids of these, getting fueled by even further Barrel Lotuses. Okay, cross combo. Gets the pressure going. Gets bursted on. Rag is quite low, but so is Rachel. Right, careful, respect. A lot of trying to go in. The blood side for the trade. Oh, and there it is. The DP is punished there for the EX Wrecker. Oh, but there it is. Oh, that just trades. Alright, nice. Oh, he drops it. Carnage scissors get punished, but it's still enough to kill. What just happened? That that was a what? Man, how'd I pull that off? You said it best, now, Toe. How'd you pull that off? Is that all? How sad. But without Lafontex, game number one. Get ready. That just turned into some crazy ass scramble at the end, though. What the hell? Your dis Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Mask freak! Interesting. Right. Yeah. Pressure going there. Yeah. Nice Hakuma going into cross cover here. Sheep to assist. Come on in. Mask freak! Shake it off. Yeah. Interesting. Right, there we go. Pressure. Yeah. Right, going into raid here. Short combo. Nice, there it is. I'm right, still pressuring. Go on to Hades. Just outright whiffs. Gets punished. So once again, another just small combo. First, Ragnar really keeps it safe. Argument. Very high health anyway. Argito. Whiffs. Still just moving about a lot, trying to do that cross up JC, which I still can't believe exists. Alright, All right, here we go, cross combo coming out. Oh, big convert. Devoured by darkness. And there it is for the HC, that's gonna kill. Right. Sort of sandwiches, but doesn't go for an active switch. Alright, there we go. Is into the uh. Oh, no pain convert after that one. Okay, so today switches in Ragnar. Aaron goes for an air approach. Gets push blocked, goes around the EX Racker. Careful. Right, good convert here. She boosts his catch, but no conversion. Not able to get keep going after the assist. And the DP whiffs. I think this will be it. Carnage scissors! Somebody takes game number two. Is it the best you got? You are the very Get ready! I just realize this is just Blaze Blue. This is just Blaze Blue tag. There is no there is no other series. This is not a crossover. You're destruct Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! You're up! Come on! Uh, 
Managing the block, still blocking the assist. It's fine. He's going for a lot of these JC cross-ups. And I said it earlier, I still can't believe that JC is just the hit of 6C. It just seems so strange to me. Careful. Can you get to switch Barrel Lotus is here? Gets a void on one of them. That, also that uh six P. Not, not even. Or four P, whichever one it is. I just see it as 6D and my mind thinks D6. I don't know. So, some weird is really struggling to deal with these barrel lotuses. Just general rage of them. Okay. Oh, but that's that. He still gets both chipper. He's barely been able to do any damage. There it is. Ragnar's down. How much is he going to be able to do with the solo Harkman with the level 4 res blades? Alright, there we go. Conversion. How much damage is this going to be? Going into Shipu. Nice. 8.5. Duke Kaze gets triggered. Will that kill? This it will! Alright, DP DP's the incoming to make it neutral. Alright, the red blade is over. And he still gets the convert, but no, no, he drops it! Alright. Is, is this going to be enough to kill? No, he, it looked like he had enough more there, but didn't. It's Humbleweeds on Magic Pixel now. Oh, very nice throw tech! Zantetsu! No conversion. Oh, losers! And he does it! Tumbleweed! With Hakuman the White Void! Get ready! Attempting to bring hype is all I'm good at. <laughs> but hey, people seem to like it. Fight. Right. Yeah. Couple going in, trying to get some aggression going. He's getting this open up quite a bit though. I see. Thank you for that, Danny. Well, there it is, catching out the uh, Rachel there. And there it is, Zanagi. Gonna get conversion of this, but gets bursted. Burst Punisher, the new Ragnar assist. Oh, but bottom button, Lily! Magic to do the air DP, though, to get Hakuman out! Baragna takes the full force of that. Okay, so Magic to get that switch out. Okay, it's not looking good for Tumbleweed right now. So I'm gonna lean enough to up the DP does. Okay, there we go. He's done it once, can he do it again? Only a level 3 res blade this time. Oh, counter hit! And there it is! Alright. No, not much damage here. The way LaFunk is moving seems really hard for Hakuman to be able to pin down. Oh, this is. Oh no, he drops it! Oh, the EX Ubaki! Does he have enough to kill? No, not enough. Hagito Ender. 
Zatetsu! Oh, EX Rekka! Oh, I, I see that. I knew he was trying to do that. Trying to get that TK Phantom Pain. Oh, they're blocking those cross ups! And they're DP! The curtain has fallen. It's time for 3 you to 1 to Tumbleweed. Out. Oh my god, my heart. That was that was a roller coaster right there. Your continued existence is a blight upon this world. But Tumble advances to win its side finals. Loads of spaghetti. All right, who is up next? Uh, we have Diny versus Kishi. Diney. Fontan duo, they were great. That comeback they had in the second game was brilliant. Good job. Just waiting on Kishi again. Fine, Pontan. Relax, buddy. Oh, I've had no reaction from Kishi. Asking around again. Apparently, he was warming up against Alane. So says Diney. They must still be going, most likely. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. I want to keep this. I do want to keep this going. Can't believe Ponta's trying to pass off in Discord that we're a professional tournament when I'm ho I'm the host. No way are we professional when I'm the host. I am like the least professional of the three BB du BB duo hosts by a mile. 
and if only because of how much I doubt I don't try to be professional. I just do this all pure from the heart. But alright, here they are! And I know these two have faced off a lot. Get ready. Get Let's ready. do it. Well, Razi, they might okay. just see that happen. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Let's go! Right. Oh, that's a start, but no conversion off of the Huckerman assist coming out. Back to switch. Laser catches Huckerman, but Dang blocks it. There is the 2C opening up Dang there. Safe jump, keeping it going. Assist, anti airing him out. DPs to get some, just chip and get him out of the air. Right, there we go, get some conversion. Let's try to go for the end here on the burst, but not, not quite getting it. Kishi is going in. Nice conversion. Gun blasts. Doesn't do anything, gets Vat assist, but the cross combo into another one means there's no follow up. Drill, throw, and that's Dang versus him, but it's, it, he just blocks it on the on reaction. Go, good throw tech there from Kishi. Super flash kicks, DHC, should be enough to kill. Down to half a minute. Alright, here we go. There's Blaze, level 3. Right, there we go, it ends off as Antetsu, 6k, nice. Shifu is still not enough to kill. Does he have the meat? To... Two cars, not enough to kill. Forced to block. Manages to slap Matisse. Oh, but there it is. It comes out again. He's going to get a full conversion off this. And Kishi takes game number one. Seen, I've seen Danny do have some rough starts and keep going. Good convert there, ending. Um. I think PC has like a weird bug where with voices, I know they're very strange. They usually take player one setting, but I don't know. They're very weird. Also, I know Kishi has the voices in uh, voices set to Japanese, but Daini has them set to English. Yes, okay, that goes. Right, there we go, Kishi game. Right, there we go, rest place. Matisse is already dead. Okay. Ah, oh, there, there, the right, Maki, sorry. I'm getting things mixed up. I just know there's a voice bug on PC. Kishi on that magic pixel right now. And oh, there it is! JC, get some. There we go, Diney coming over. back, see? Just like I said, don't count them out. If you want to trade punches with me, you should know what you're But there, yeah, the reason why on the win screen they're in English is because of my get own settings. Ready, get ready.
Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Let's go! Going for the cold shoulder there, but not quite getting a conversion. In fact, Kishi is turning it around right now. But still, Gun Blast Sender. Yeah, Air Dash jumping in. Dainy, though. Getting a convert, but bursting in. And it's punished. He just blocks it. Right, we've reached the corner. There's going to be some damage here. 6.1k. Gets opened up. Spur managing to get out because of a cold shoulder attempt. Now, but not enough to kill Dang at this rate, I think. Oh, but no, we're going cross combo. There might just be enough damage. Yeah, the cross combo super does it. Alright, we're back down to a solo Hakuman. Gonna see a lot of them in this tournament, it seems. Alright, here we go. Level 2 Res Blades coming out. Force to defend. Okay, catching them with the low, but Ruby's too far away to convert off of. Just getting them poked. Hitbox is just avoiding. This is some suddenly footsies. No, oh, bursts the moment the X comes out. Goes for a Duke Kaze for nothing. Zontetsu opens up. Here we go. Oh, but no, he drops it. Goes for the throw, but very nice throw tech there from Kishi. Oh, goes for an air DP. Is Kishi going to be able to convert and kill off of this? Quite like. Oh no, he goes for it. Nanaki's out of the corner. The 5B voids the laser and that hits Ruby. That timing was great. Alright, good. Anti Ezra with 5B. Santetsu opens up. He hangs on! We have then another Hakuman comeback! This is your very well. 2 1 up now to Dainey. Get ready! I think you picked a fight with the what? Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Let's go! What the All goes for a throw, but no. Don't get a front tip, but blocks the instant overhead. No. Cross combo and just gets hit by the 4P and he should get some nice throw over here, but it's on Hakuman instead. CP though is punished. First to see Dang, but only hits the assist. Ruby blocks it. Kishi's going to town right now. Defense. Burning golds out, but no, doesn't hit. Tisa. Once again, he blocks another burst. That's going to be a dead Hakuman. He's got the meter DHC in. But that was, that was regen out of I burn. Nice hit. has been chipped down. Here it comes. Goes for that 2B. No punish. Okay. Fuck JC starter. Oh, but he drops it. We're going to game number five. This is going to be very close. Get ready. Either it's going to be very close, or this next match is just going to be a stomp, just to prove me wrong. Now that I've said it's going to be close, because that's how it always goes. I'll hit you with. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Come on! Yeah. Okay. Right there. Convert there. Good knockdown. Right JC. And there it is, the sheep are just getting out of make good at that convert looks really silly. JC misses, but it's okay, he's jumping! 
And that just almost threw me this main ass ball. Oh, the magic's DP out of the sandwich. No one gets hit by another JC overhead. Kishi DP's out. Careful. Going to drill, but there's a gap. Enough to get I burn out. Okay, Hagumon on defense. 2B getting him out of there. Nice small convert. Oh, but there it is. Gets open up with the instant overhead. Just does two Yuki Kazes! But not enough to kill. Alright, there we go. Gets the pressure going, and this is. I burn Dang. Having a burst. Okay. Ruby though on that magic pixel. And it just, just she ran into the DP, which was triggered by the VAT assist. Okay, that was that was silly. And that's it, there it is! Max range sweep! 3-2 to Dine! That was a great set for both players. But all right, let's switch down to that uh, loser's side now. We'll get we'll get Raziel versus Pyro. Raziel is up here now. No. Alright, and there they are. Both players are ready. Get ready. Backing off the star for both of them. Get it, open up with that 2A, that low there from the egg. Alright, then go tries to go for the 4B, but Pyro is approaching from the air. There we go. Pyro jumping a lot. Definitely not. Definitely trying to deal with the fact that Raziel loves that 4B of his. With this. Oh no, the super doesn't connect! Well, on Magic Pixel, they're going to work. There's going to be a switch during this combo, or just after. There we go. See? Our technical gets an opening. Labrys is going in. Managing to build that axe up at least back to green. Okay. Yang assist, though, getting an opening on nine. Unrelenting fire. The armor, though, from the, the two one four A, burning gold, punching down that, punching down Labrys. There it is, Raziel taking a bit of a messy, but. Still semi somewhat dominant game number one. Alright.
Get ready. Get ready. Right, here we go. Let's see. How does game number two fare? Starting out with the Rang this time, I believe. Right, here we go. This is a strong star right now, though, from Brazil. Just going in with that unrelenting offense he can be known for. Man will go in and hit them B buttons. Okay, if, he, if that wasn't a burst, then Lapras would be dead. This is another 2 4 a Jesus. This is, he's just showing completely no signs of stopping. My burn's activated. Okay, managing to switch out to Noel. And I'm gonna just hit, hit, hit these four Bs. But also going for the lows after them. Getting a small bit of roaming. Labris is probably gonna die to this room. Oh no, not enough. There's the pressure. Oh, goes for the type 9, but it doesn't work. First punish, and Nang is down. Oh, not able to convert off of that counter hit. Air normal. Oh, and that's a, that was a happy birthday, but he doesn't have enough damage to kill 9. Right, but Red Blazer just immediately gets low. Just straight up. That Red Blazer basically didn't happen. Beyond the initial animation. But Raziel now at match point. And Pyro is one loss away from being knocked out. Winner of this match has to face LaFunk. Get ready! Chain knuckle. I mean, I guess this is happening. I, I guess. The, ne the Nethroi definitely forcing Brazil to go in. There it is. 5C, 4K. Trying to teleport around, but Brazil's just gonna hit them B buttons. You don't give a crap. Oh, here we go. Bunch of the X Blue triggers. Okay. He's trying to get in. He's just really struggling to get around the Noel assists and bang fireballs. So, catching out the Noel assist at least, but it's not going to stop Brazil with that dang 5B. Over there is the grab. Bursting to save Labrys, but might have just killed. Nearly got nine killed in the process, but Raziel didn't have the meter to convert. Oh no, nine is dead anyway. The super comes out and at least he took out Noel. At least Noel just gets fucking launched. There we go, 3-0 to Raziel. Advances to fight LaFunk. But first we've got to get P-Blade versus Era. Thank you for your assistance. I look forward to working with you in the next battle. Don't sweat it. I couldn't just leave you hanging, could I? All right, that'll be P Blade there.
whenever both players are ready. Get ready. I am very... I have no idea which Get side ready. to go for in this case because... I mean, I, I, w I want to back my girl, but I also don't want to back my literal least favourite character in all of Underdine. Your opponent's connection was lost. Oh boy. I know P Blade has been having some tech issues throughout the event so far. No, I like S. I like S a lot. The reason I would I'm mess I'm sort of biased in this one is I dislike Waldstein on P Blade's side and I dislike Jin. Actually, I don't entirely dislike Jin. Nowhere near as much as I dislike Wald. See, Diony's the one they want to speak to if they want to find someone who hates S. If you refuse to stand aside, then I will fight you. Can't escape from crossing. All right, we're in. Fight. All right, there we go. We're going in already with a throw. Okay, basic combo getting a bit of set play there. Also the gin assist as well. Good defense de dealing with the spear. Alright, there we go. This doesn't go for a convert. Doesn't go for the extension. Fireball super gets caught out by the four with the four P. Alright, so there it is, those ward hitbox is just catching out Jin there. Good, We're getting another converter off of this Jin. My assist, getting her, getting her in there. Going for them backflips to carry him above, but not really doing a dive with her. They did change S's uh, 6P to the Enhanced Bruno, where the two projectiles combined into one big one, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, and Jin just gets taken out! And there it is! Oh no, not enough! But, right now... And the names are the wrong way around, I've just realised. Because they switched sides, I completely forgot. There we go. He played has a big health advantage right now. Now, I know they changed more than that. They made 5A, like, really slow. Way slower than it was. I could feel... I could definitely feel the difference. Alright, E-Blade takes game number one. If you refuse to stand aside, then I will fight you. Can't escape from crossing right. fate. Yeah, number two. Round right. subs jumping A. Let's go. 
I guess that's the way to stop. But there, there's definitely having a hard time moving around these walls assists. They're as huge as ever. I hate dealing with them because they're so massive. Okay, good. Use these backwards, just moving them around. Here we go, Jin getting a convert. 6.3. Good ender. Toga comes out, just punishing that full screen whip. So we got another Tuga. Man hitting Wolfstein, but not doing that much damage, really. But the health is a lot more equal than it was in the previous match. Tell the much. So we got to throw. Gets Tex, and this is a happy birthday, but not enough to kill S. Going over the Himaduri. There it is, just gets grabbed. Just enough to kill. People are taking game number two. Match point. Get ready. It's okay. I'm sure we can do this. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Yeah, good. This is a much better looking start for Ada right now. Okay, pressure's coming out. JC, oh, but there it is. DP matching the catch S. You know, Jin just sits there being Jin. Oh, DP's out of the pressure. You ain't jabbing there. Alright, there we go. Nice. Movement. Oh, but this is turning it around to two. They're catching both of them. But. Doesn't seem, it doesn't lead to much. There is another Tuga. He's so, so happy about that. Oh, that, uh, this is very even, surprisingly. Like, yeah, but he's basically running away. Oh, there it is. Jin goes down after that. And then S just immediately gets 4 p That's a clean 3 0 to P Blade. Advancing off to face Kishi a bit later. Because now it's time for Raziel and Funk to get back in here. All right. Has Felix actually dropped S? Who for? The last time I saw him was mm, about a week and a half ago, I think, at Gibbs' last tournament. He was still playing Aurier S there. Hmm, I see. That makes sense. Alright, both players are here, let's go. Get ready. Get ready. Ah. 
I actually have no idea how this is going to play out. Because this could be a slow one, this could be a Sorry, fast one. But I'm going straight. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! There it is. So Raziel's really trying that aggression, but it's going to be really hard for him to get around what Funk tries to do. Fed him, fed him. So this is one of the first times I've ever seen him really show patience. There we go, the uh, 4P. We're just going corner to corner, but the burst managed to come down. No, he's getting an opening on Naoto right now. There we go, the push block comes out. 4B opening him up. Even with getting clipped by the Rachel assist, still managing to get a convert going. A little bit of damage there. Gangs in. Noel safe for now. Trying to 2 and 4 through the uh, barrel loaders. It's not really working out for him at the moment. There it is. Oh, the overhead. Slowly wearing him down. Over here comes I burn. And he blocks the DP. Will this be enough to kill? Yes, it will. All right, there we go, Noel. Razi trying to work on a Noel comeback here. He gets DP'd out. Oh, but he's still, he's got the opening. Nowhere near enough damage to kill, but he's going into Res Blades. And the assist, Rachel gets clipped and just dies for it. And he manages to do it. He manages to pull through. Okay, we just that is a one zero up for Raziel. Hey, do you guys in the chat act like I, I'm good at noticing these sorts of habits? <laughs> I don't know shit, I'm just good at yelling. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Yeah. Oh, 4B, getting that opening he wants, but getting bursted on. Just try to 4B through all these, uh, all the, uh, Barrel Lotuses, but it's already working. Okay, here we go, but if I'm now going to work, not happy with that comeback, Razzy will be, yeah. So Raz Raziel's now in Iburn. It's comeback mode. Let's do this. Just throw straight into one relenting fire. The DHC getting some good damage in here, but this won't kill. But that 2P just will. There is the Enhanced Crusader. He's just gonna DP everything. And it's gonna cost him. Raziel takes game number two. We are currently at match point for Raziel. And the winner of this advances to top four, losers semis.
Get ready. I see he is losing it a lot of, at the start of matches, but then he just seems to stop losing it after a while. I have noticed that. There we go, Raid. Short air combo for 6k, Raid. Oh, but gets DP. My defense. Can be enhanced. Enhanced Wrecker. Gets a clip. Boom. JB gets bursted on through the X Wrecker. Yes, oh, we're going space, spending that bath. Oh, but the bottom, bottom. He just runs into it. He ran into it. Alright, there we go. I burns active. <laughs> so that 4P just comes in and hits her in the back. Oh, this is an extreme health disadvantage for Raziel. Okay. Dang it, Zayna gets shared! 4Bs to beat the Lotus. Oh, tries to run in, gets it. There it is! Funk hanging on. They almost gave him two points there. But no, he, he only got one. Get, get ready. ready. Catching him straight at the start. Brazil getting a blue beat combo, carrying all the way back. We're in the corner. So flocking, but still getting caught. Just by the chain revolver there. And now to already in the red health. Oh, but there it is, that charged JB. Oh, if he didn't burst, then Alto would be dead. Oh, George is still here. Zappy time! Oh, it doesn't quite work. Well, getting that regen. Right now, Vang is just getting thrown around the place. Oh! There it is. Bowser just shows up and gets punched in the face. Okay, push blocks versus the chair. Oh, there it is. 5 BB. This is resonance. This is going to hurt. We're going cross combo. But he drops it. Oh, but he still gets a convert anyway. With the Noel assist. Does he have enough to kill? Not quite enough. But no, it doesn't matter. He just hits a JC anyway. And Raziel takes this. 3-1. Okay. Raziel advances to lose the semis. He's made top four. Let's get Kishi and P Blade in here now, though. Both players are here. And I see he's now got a Vatista with his Mai. Okay, I guess he pref much prefers that than the walls against Kishi's team. Ready.
I guarantee your survival. Fight me with everything you have. Whoa! Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh, going straight into the cross combo here with these lasers. It's a little bit of damage on my but it doesn't matter. But that's just going to sit there. Threat walls. Gameplay. Okay! What am I supposed to say? I legitimately don't know. Um. I love that. That's great. But. Um. This made Susan Mirrors hard to comment, look easy to commentate, and I have really struggled to commentate them. Is this going to be the entire best of five? See, so now that both bats have just gone to assist, this is an actual game again. All right, here we go. We're going into the late super. That's enough to kill my. He blades down with that. Oh, that's not a good DP. She doesn't have the most meter, so he's not going to be able to get a large amount. He's side switching with the assist coming out. Side pods. That, that cross combo. Axe of switch. Lux Fortis. Lasers. I can see rubies around. Can this be a game again? Movement. There's, there's lasers, balls. Guys, help. What do I say? Ruby's fucking dead. Lux Fortis! Lux Fortis! Oh my god, Keisha got hit! Is this- Do I have to commentate- No, a lot of just made me realize- Do I have to commentate a second time? Oh, thank god, Keisha! Resistance is futile. I've already had to commentate one time out, courtesy of Alane and Tumbleweed. I don't want to have to do another one. Get ready. Get ready. I would ask how to do timeout in this game, but I guess they're like what they just did proved, like showed me how. There would be no point answering that, asking that goddamn question. And by the way, we've got potentially up to four more matches of this, guys. So, hope you're well seated. Hope you got some of that popcorn there. They're gonna need it. Hope you've been. Hope you've been to the toilet. Or if not, that would be a good time. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There's some lag there, but he's going nowhere. Let's go. I'm safe. Yo, no. Offensive. Yeah. He, he's running away even with mine. Oh, 
I'm words. I think they're actually doing more damage to me than they are doing to each other. Oh, that was not a good DP. In fact, Ruby's gonna go down, which means Kishi's forced to go back to his VAT. But he's really trying to take offense this time. Oh, and that's not a, another bad DP! Another one! It's P Blade's ability to just play lame, causing Kishi to tilt or something. Laser! Oh my god, we're gonna at least go to game four of this. Okay, stuff is happening this time though. Kishi's trying to play the video game. I have said before, I like watching this character. I... I like... I like this character. I like Batista, but you know, watching two of them at the same time in the same match is not that fun. It's gonna be fucking cancelled at this rate. I'm gonna ban everyone. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lose it. Get ready, ready. I swear to God, if P Blade wins this one, 
<laughs> if P-Blade wins this one... Okay, okay. Is... Is this just a... Is this just a game of... Even with his mind, he's just sitting at the other end of the screen! Okay. Oh my god! Oh, it's a, it's a back of the... No, he switches out. Oh my god. Is this seriously happening? I have powerful. Your strength is so negligible that I can defeat you even after waking from a long sleep. That was actually a some pretty fucking good play from P Blade. I just hope game five he can repeat that. Get ready, Get ready. I got the scores wrong because I'm going insane. Alright. She's trying to come in. Alright, okay, still going in. Even with his VAT this time. Alright, there we go. Oh no, DP's out. DP's out. Alright. He's again forced to block them. Actually switches into Ruby. Alright, there we go. Switches out. Alright, there's just stuff happening at this point. I don't even know if this is... I don't even know anymore. Okay. He believes he'll take another ruby. But gets thrown. Wake up, wake up, throw. That classic. That bursts in. He should get the convert. Managing to get in. There we go, we're back to that full screen. Lumen Stella, guys. Okay, here we go, they're moving. Getting a spear throw for that chip dip. Alright, using DP, but backing off. Alright, we're going into cross combo. And doing nothing with it! Using DP to get out of another DP. Not enough, not made safe by the assist, though. Alright, there we go. Sit, sitting down. Oh, with this throw, I think he's got it. Kishi takes it. Three, two. Kishi, all right, you better stay around.
tumble, I have no clue. Did that seriously take 16 minutes? Did that really, really take 16 minutes? Holy shit, it took like 16 minutes between p me pinging matches. I pinged both players to join the room at 7.42 my time, and, and then I pinged the next match at 7.58. <laughs> okay. We're in top four now. Winner of this advances to loser side finals. All right. I'll be fine. It's over now. It's over now. We're getting back to matches. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. All right, there we go. Careful, stuff. There it is. Sending Brazil sending in that dang assist as always, but just too big over everything, as is uh, one of his standard tricks. Driver is going, opening him up with the low. Dang assist coming out. There's no burst. It goes straight into super. Six K. Okay, getting clipped by the drill just at the very tip of Noel's head there. There we go, active switch. Just landing on the, these five Bs in like the exact same way both times. And the game is frozen. Um, your opponent's connection was lost. Who's dead? Kishi. Nice. Okay, Kishi's back. It's okay, just restart. These things happen. Net play tournaments, there's only so much you can do. Get ready. Get ready. Yeah, Kishi is from Russia. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Alright, there we go. There's a four Bs. DB's out of the chain revolver. There we go, he's getting a small bird, just slowly chipping away at Ruby's health there. We're just waiting for this moment. Oh, there it is. Deep, just DPing through the 2B. Now oh, the name's the wrong way around. Sorry. Because of the disconnect, the name's switch. The side switch. There we go. Kishi has, always, has played Ruby Batista previously. He played... Um, S for Tisa. Well, there we go. There he's in. Going straight into Super. Yeah, Raziel was, has been playing the well since the beginning. <laughs> You could say that, but it more just because of how the game handled it after he got disconnected. Oh, there it is! Super flash kick through the Type 9 attempt. There we go. Respecting the, uh, the fact that he's now got semblance as well, but air dashing into the projectile. There it is, just gun blasted face first into Zhang's fist. And that's not a good DP. But the convert was weird, and Raziel couldn't quite manage it. Okay, guess probably the DP, and there it is, the DP whiffs. 
Raziel taking game number one. But it is apparently not playable, according to Raziel. Okay, Kishi is going to try restarting his game. Alright, Kishi is back. Whenever Razi already is up, it's time to go, but these connections do keep dropping down to zero. Again, as always. DPing through that type 9. DPing, he just keeps going in. More 2 beats, more 4 beats. That Rousey old classic we all know it for. Catching that burst there with the 2 beat. Quite nice. Burning quite nicely here. Catching him out with that air. Chasing him into the air. The other going for A. J A. DPing the DP into another DP. Alright, I burn comes out. Alright, there we go, DP's out. Again, assist comes out. Goes under the projectile with the, the chain revolver. And he gets thrown there. Oh, the super flash kick whips! 2B starter, going straight into super. And the DHC is not enough to kill that. There we go. Ruby is down. Just to, down off its teeth. And he gets opened up in the low! Raziel at match point right now. Apparently the connection was much better. Seems like they're going to keep going. Get ready. Get ready. Dang. 
she is not taking a hit out of these games. Oh, there it is. Finally, ta finally takes damage as a result of a burst. Stupid ass Ruby 5B catching behind them. Surrender, double gun blast. Bad assist comes out. We're going in the super. Is this enough to kill Noel? Yes, it is! Okay, that was a bit strange, but okay. This is looking very good for Kishi. Alright, there we go. Eye burns coming out. Going for the 2B, but not quite enough to catch. Does a DP, but Kishi is patient and just sits there. And that's enough for him to secure game number three. 2 1. Still match point for Raziel. Starting much stronger than before. Oh, there is five C. Wake up, Super. Catching out of the attempt at 2 a.m. Convert here, going. Definitely what Razi wants right now. Alright, this one kills, gonna activate semblance. Switches immediately out to Noel, but gets caught by the 5P in cross combo. Gets DP'd out, so... There we go, Pulsar Axe switch. Patience after the drill. Raziel's trying to get in. Hit by the JA. Okay, he's got to convert. DHC will kill. Look at him. Cross up the JC. Not enough to kill. There goes for another one. Oh, Dang is down. Alright, there we go. DP's through. Oh, the red boys, he's got it! And the super's killing! Raziel has taken this! Alright. Raziel advances to top three into losers' finals. But let's get let's get them Hakuman players in here. Let's get Tumble versus Dine for winners' side finals. This could. This is going to be a good winner's side finals. I'm sure of it.
Tumbles here. Just waiting on Diny. All right, here we go. Oh, he's not. We're not gonna have a Hakuman, Hakuman mirror. We've got Ragnar Azrael from Tumble. I'm looking forward to this. People are gonna die. Orders. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going straight over 214 two AB! Okay, opening. okay, here we go. Health Fang. Cool. Combo. They're all they're just beating each other's assists up. There we go. Nice. Nice combo here. Nice. Hawkins in. Oh no, no, no. Azrael's trying to get around. Dana gets out, just DPs through it. But it doesn't matter. They don't hit shit. Dana is going ham right now. Azrael's dead. Ragnar's on half health. Oh, but there we go. Tumble has got his opening. JC into unrelenting fire. Is this going to kill? Yes, it is. Dainy taking game number one. Get ready. Order is first. I'll take this. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Go back to the start, but getting hit in the face. There it is, the cold shoulder active switch. There we go. Oh, there is. I like that Azrael's just there looking scary while Ragnar does the combo. Oh, there we go, Dainty Zang is getting going. The burst has activated semblance! Oh no, Inferno Divider's blocks. We all know what happens then. Especially against Hakuman. 9k, 10k, 11k! Nanaki was rocked by Growler! It's a madman. Well Dainy at match point. That's not even just robbery. There was there was no nothing to steal there. Get ready. ready. Alright. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Come on! Yes. 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 Oh, oh dear god, this is this he's working on a perfect right now. I think Kalkuman is dead! Oh, Gustav's in. Okay. Pressure on the counter him. Oh, he drops it. On oh, the DP, just catches both. There goes the perfect. Cross cover coming up, just gets thrown. Okay. All right, Tumbleweed, hang it on. Pathetic. Nah. 
No hesitation, though. Get ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed in the no perfects as well. Oh. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Ever! Oh, gets punished. Oh, there is the command grab. Uh, so, oh, there it is. We're going to the wall. Jesus Christ. Can Tumble get the Azrael comeback? Oh, Hornet manages to block. And he's just killed Dang instead. He's, he's gonna do it. The Adagis? Okay, okay. Oh, and he's done it. He had that moment of patience. The moment he... That Dainy went for Dukikaze. We're going to a game number five. Get ready. Good. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh, <laughs> Just ram start armor through Jesus kick there. Tumble getting some pressure going. Armoring through it. Oh, gone ladies though. That classic. All right, there we go. We're in semblance now. He's got a 5 piece starter. This is going to hurt. Oh no, another Duki Kase doesn't go off. But that's it, Dang is gone. Doesn't even need to spend. Burst it in on. There it is. Up. This will probably kill. Not enough! Okay, here we go. We're in the rest of Oh no! JA! Tumble with the comebacks! 3 2. That was very close. That was brilliant. Tumble advances to Grand Finals. Let's go down to Losers Finals though. Raziel just says he needs a minute.
just hope Raziel won't be too long. Alright, Raziel's here. Straight up as well, but Noel is already <laughs> so low. Nanagi! Oh, there we go. Okay, good throw tech though from Razio, but it doesn't matter because he gets overdone straight after it anyway. Alright, there we go. This is just gonna be okay, just steep peace. Just straight up <laughs> she poo him. Boom. Tiny. No holding back. That was just full power. Oh, he switched out the rank for the Carmine. Get ready. I have seen him do this before. This can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! That's the old going aggro. <laughs> Being out. Yeah, okay, that's our JC. If they get some puddles set up, they're just going all over the place. The Yuki Kaze just catches the Carmine's already very low. Oh, go it. Man, it's the, the end roll to go to Yuki Kaze there. Alright, I burn! DP's through! Shifu just catches a mid 2B! Boom, that's it! Carbide is down and she's just dead to the throw! Tiny, currently a match point! Start again from Dainey. Just if he's out of the ch chamber of but once again, Chifu's there. Combo off of it. Oh, but JC's into a DP. He just runs up, does another one. DP City. Oh, goes to the extra switch, cold shoulder. But Raziel just DP straight out of it. Can't say once again, he gets baited. Let's go. 
There it is, DP. She has blocked his punish. Raziel's down with Noel, and she's gonna take a beating here. Does he have enough to kill with this unrelenting fire? Probably. There we go. Clean 3 0 from Dainy. Alright, let's get Tumble back in here. Grand Finals. Tumble only needs to win one best of five. Dainy needs to win two. But this is already a strong start from Tumble. He needs to go in straight in. Big conversion. 8.5k. DP's through, but it's only the assist. He's already. Huckman's already dead, dude! Gone! He's just gone! He's out. JC getting some. Doesn't really follow anything off the embers. There we go. We're in the corner now. That was a strange looking ender there, but whatever. Burning gold because they just go past. They just go through him. Alright, there we go. Try to play it. Press approach. JC is blocked. There we go. Boom. Does he have enough damage to kill? Probably does. Full Spartan, and there'll be a DHC. This one, Ned, that'll be game one. Only two points away from tournament victory. Now, it's time for the main course. You better leave me satisfied. Get ready. Order. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Ember! There we go, round start embers again. Goes for another one. But gets the throw, Shipu assist is there, okay. And then goes for the low, just another opening! Unless he bursts now. Oh, very soon, okay. Oh, there we go. The assist! DP hits both of them! Ragnar's dead! Oh, this is over. This is over. I'm not quite enough to kill. 14.8k and still not enough to kill. So he just DPs him. There is so much damage now. It's crazy. Get ready. Boy, am I glad I don't play Blake. Actively. Can't escape from crossing fate. Right, here we go, game number three. Let's go. Oh, the <laughs> DP's through the burst. There it is. Cold shoulder active switch. Diny is awake. Takes out of the corner. Goes under the. Goes under that. There we are. Oh, we're going to the other end. Yeah, that looks like a. I look like that wasn't meant to drop. But all right. Just slap him out of the sky. Exactly. 14k. 
Throwing a bunch of tornado space. Okay, here we go. Topple dead. The X dead spike. The carnage scissors. Just not. Oh no, the couple after it. Pay attention, Gauntlet Hades! I have never seen so many Gauntlet Hades in one room. I love it. There we go. Resonance DP. Ooh, Tumble manages to hang on. That Ragnar comeback. Very nice. And he's at tournament point now. Get ready! I'll take this one. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh, there it is. Just over through the jab. That's all right. Not really able to get a confirm most of it. Tumble and they're just beating up assists again. Nice DP there. Another one. Oh, okay. What's the hell? That. That looks weird suddenly. This looks really laggy out of nowhere. Okay. Just JC in the one relentic fire. That looked abnormally laggy for these two. I'm gonna check this. To think that you and I would share the same. I'll just double check. All right, it was fine for them. All right. All right, cool. Good PC port. Good port. But not only are we at tournament point, we are at reset point. I've seen some some people still manage to combo in like weird lag before, so I, I always just okay. like to be sure. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Come on! Nice try. Let's go. Yeah, it's a big confirm here. Oh, this is not looking good for Hakuman. Got a burst. Not gonna lose it. Gonna Zanagi out. Punish the DP. Okay. No meter beam's got a full assist gauge. Is he gonna lose it? Alright, there we go. Action switch. Gets a throw. Gets bursted on. The Hakuman's regenning. Inferno Divider! Gets jabbed. This activates semblance and forces him to. Okay, there we go. A little blocking. Strange. Alright, there we go. JC opening. This is not good for a Tumbleweed. This is gonna hurt. 7.2k. Assist comes out. Active switch. Cold shoulder once again. First in, there it is. JC, unrelenting fire. Azrael's down. What? Okay. Oh. That 
was so close. But Tumbleweed takes it 3-2 and he is our champion for today. Alright, there we go, 3-2 to Tumbleweed. Let's get the final scores in. I realize I didn't put them. I haven't updated the bracket. <laughs> Alright, there we go, all done. Let's go over these final scores, shall we? Well, final placements. As soon as the challenge stops messing me around, which it's very, very prone to. Alright, today we had 15 players, and I'm very happy to say, like, nobody missed check-in. Because that's always the worst when you get, like, 300 players or some super high number. I don't know, I'm talking out my ass there, but then nobody checks in. Really messes with things. Anyway, 13th place tie, we have Liu, we have Vilakar, and Neko Silviu. Ninth place tie, Malel. I still can't. Zu. Zuiya. I, I. There's a. I can't pronounce that. I am sorry. I am really sorry. Pontan Pop. And Renua. And our top eight for today. Seventh place tie, Pyrotechnical and Iria. Fifth place tie, La Funk and P Blade. Fourth place, Kishi. Third place, Zero Raziel. And second place, Dini. As we just saw with that brilliant grand finals. And our winner is Tumbleweed, having switched out that white void for an Azrael. And I'm tired out. I've been doing this for two hours. This has been going for two hours 40, and I'm solo. Solo commentary is hard, let me tell you. But it's been it's fun. It, it can be fun. Everyone's played really well today want to say thanks to everyone for joining even though everyone signed up at the last minute which as I said earlier is is great <laughs> hey I don't I don't like changing commentary team halfway through a tournament I don't I'm not the biggest fan of that it would have been awkward to set things up already when I was already pretty busy. And Zub, don't worry, there will always be another one. I will be hosting this until it's guaranteed that I have like five entrants a month or something. Sometime early first half of next month will be BB Taggy to open 12. Don't have a date now, I'll have that up soon. Next Sunday, I believe. I'm just going to check the exact dates. For all the Unist players out there, Sunday the 23rd will be Brent hosting Unist Edu Open 11. And two weeks from today, main man Fun Fun hosting Edu Central Fiction Edu Open number 25. Also... I, I did actually have a commentator. They literally... Funfin literally ended up not being able to at like the last minute and I was too busy setting up. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. The only thing that killed me in the end really was that VAT mirror. But it's been fun. I will see you all next time.